15 March. Kindly appreciate. No, Mr. I have no problem in declaration of the list of donors or the list of recipients. Mr. Rodney will not hear you right now. We have a specific application to the board. You ask your advocate on record to follow the procedure. File an email. It will be dealt with by my registrar listing. We'll take a uh, we'll but, get but no. I am saying no, kindly. Not, if I do it for Mr. Rohatji, senior counsel, no, no, then Mr. Rohatji, <laughs> you look at me. As Chief Justice, I have no face to tell all the other juniors to whom I declined list, uh, mentioning in the morning. What sauce for the goose is sauce for the guy. I am not mentioning. I am not appearing in the matter and no, making a we submission. Have, we have no such application on board before us. No, no, I have got it with I have made my... I have made my... Yeah, but the end, I have emailed the gentleman. One second. Has... You wait. One at a time. Sorry, Mr. Rodney. Yes. No, Malab, my submission is the entire gentleman has been entered behind the back of the public at large. This gentleman sure, doesn't constitute sure, 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 This sure, gentleman doesn't sure, constitute sure, 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 One second. Yes. One second. The, the, this one gentleman second, is boy. Please listen to me. You are please, on. One second. I have a citizen of this country. One second. Yes. Don't shout at me. No, no I am very soft. Please listen to me. Yes. This is not a Hyde Park corner uh, meeting, okay? You are in the court. Yes. You want to move an application? No, Malab, File an application. Malab, what I told Mr. Rodgi applies to you. No, my lord, the question is, my lord, this there is, uh, no question uh, you've got. My, my friend Mr. has come. Mr. Nedumbara, one second. Yes. You've got my decision as Chief Justice. We are not hearing you. If you want to file an application, file an application, move it on the email. That's the rule in this court. No, no further. Lord, we will go by what you are watching. That's all, please. Whatever you are watching, please go by that. Do you want another contempt notice? No, my lord, your worship, we will go by what you are watching. You have to be in Bombay. Only I have said what I wanted to say. That this gentleman is run there behind the back of the people of this country. It doesn't bind us. It doesn't please, constitute us. It is not a do not at all. Please, once we have said no, please move the application by email. What your logic says. Do not, do not con continue and persist. Ask. Yes, I only said it was not a representative proceeding. Oh. You are the way coming from Kerala. You are obstructing in the administration of justice. Hello, my lord. You are obstructing in the process of no, administration no, of justice. The entire gentleman is against. Behind the back of these people, Parliament has been entered. Hey, that's all. That's all. We heard that. Please, that's all. Please, you please, made it. We will not hear you till you move follow the procedure prescribed. We are filing it. Please do. We are filing it. Please do. We'll yes. consider it afterwards. Mr. Yes. My friend came from Kerala to take a took a uh, one o'clock flight. Not, Be kind to us. Uh, Be kind that's to us. all, please. We will not hear them. Democracy. Please call for the application. Uh, the Please follow the application. My Lord, may I mention, my Lord, uh, my petition for so much of uh, that is pending. Whatever Lordship want to do, that do only. No, I will no, not disturb Lordship. Mr. Agarwala, apart from being a senior counsel, you are the president of the SCBA. Yeah. You should know the procedure. You have written a letter to me asking me to invoke my so motor jurisdiction. Yes, yes, my lord. No locus to mention so anything. that I should not disturb you lordship. We should not waste it honorable time, court, court's time. Fair That's enough. why. Lord, but, uh, you know, that. These are all publicity oriented. Of done. We will not permit it. Not a of a so, uh, whatever please. lordship will feel better. Mr. Agarwala, please keep it that. I keep it at that. I may have to say something more, which will be perhaps a little distasteful. Please, please the the bar bar. It is enough now. It is enough. Um, Justify your old man. Be kind to us, we are very polite and begging with your lordship. Your lordship has hey. such a soft life. We have been telling you that you are interfering, you are obstructing us. No, no, no. Okay, we we should, if you don't stop, we will have to. When we are not heard and we are, we are, we feel threatened. <laughs> Sorry, Lord. Follow the line. Yes, follow. Yes, telling now. Uh, we should notice on the last occasion to uh, yes. State Bank of India. Uh, Mr. Kapoor, you are appearing. Uh, you are appearing. Mr. Salve is also there. For the State Bank? That's right. Yes. Uh, but I appear for the State Bank. Yes. Uh, Mr. Salve, in yes. our order which we, in the, in the judgment which we delivered, we had expressly asked State Bank of India to disclose all details. The language of the judgment was all details have to be disclosed. Uh, therefore, that includes the bond numbers as well. So, not I let SBI not be selective in the disclosure of details. We intend not to, not to clarify that it shall disclose all details, including the bond numbers and every part of the information which is in its possession and custody. Don't wait for an order of the court. We banked on the fact that the State Bank of India would be 
candid and fair to the court. Well, I just, whatever your lordship say, if your lordship say bond numbers, you can disclose the bond number. There's uh, no problem. Somebody can screen them. And... Why, why has the uh, why has the SBI not disclosed? Uh, the... I wanted to Mara, tell my lord how we understood your lordship's judgment. Give me five minutes. Only to explain our conduct. We'll, of course, if your lordship say give uh, anything more, everything will be given. But there's no question. SBI's attitude appears to be: you tell us to disclose a particular detail, and we'll disclose it. That's not the that's not fair process. The, no, not how we the understood. The SBI yeah. requires, this is the judgment of the Supreme Court. As chairman of the State Bank of India, I'm duty bound to comply with the judgment. I will disclose every part of the information which is in my custody, as directed by the Supreme Court. Because when we said all details of the purchases, that means every conceivable detail which is available with State Bank of India. And we clarified by saying including. Uh, that should be, I mean, State Bank of India has the best legal advice open to it. May I not take your lordship through the three orders so how we understood them? Well, Lord, your first, your lordship's first order was 12th April 2019. Sure. And we have, for convenience, Lord, we have put the uh, three orders together. Your Lordship, just see that. We'll give everything. There's no question. Just to explain that it's not that uh, the impression which is being created, Malad, is that State Bank of India has been playing ducks and drakes with the court. I just wanted to clear that up. If Your Lordship sees the 12th April 2019 order in paragraph 16. But I had asked my friend to make a little compilation of the orders so we could show them easily. Your Lordship has not. Uh... <clears throat> yes, uh, para 17, right? Uh, para 16, man. 16, you got this? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. This is the interim order my Lord had been pleased yes. to make. After Malad noting all the changes, the court would have to ensure that any interim arrangement that may be made would not tilt the balance in favor of either of the parties. But the same ensures adequate safeguards against the competing claims of the parties which are yet to be adjudicated. In the above perspective, according to us, the just and proper interim direction would be to require. Can we just see para 15 again? Right? Yes. The court therefore has to ensure that any interim arrangement that may be made would not tilt the balance in favor of either of the parties, but the same would ensure adequate safeguards against the competing claims of the parties which are yet to be adjudicated. In the above perspective, according to us, the just and proper interim direction would be to require all political parties who have received donation through the electoral bonds to submit to the Election Commission of India and seal cover detailed particulars of the donors against each bond. The amount of each such bond and the full particulars of the credit received against each such bond, namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount had been credited and the date of each such credit. So, my lord, your lordship felt this would what would ensure transparency that you give all this, but you keep it in a sealed cover. So, a political party doesn't need bond number. If a political party comes and says, I have received so much from so and so, that gives the requisite details. We take it you're not arguing a case for a political party, right? No, no, no. no. On the contrary, for the state I'm bank. saying the reverse. I'm so sorry. I'm saying the reverse. But no, if a political uh, uh, Para 16, Mr. Salve, was relating to the political parties who had to submit the data to the Correct. To the election commission. Correct. And they have. And they, this has. They, no, that's a, that's a separate issue. They Whatever they have declared or not declared, that's a separate issue. But as far as the judgment of this court is concerned, because you yes. were should, supposed to. I'm coming in a minute. If your Lord, she will just give me one minute how we understood it. Para 16, with, as my Lord has therefore noticed, only required the political parties to give all these details. And these details have been given, or not. if they have not been given, that's between the ECI and the political parties. We have, I have no, I am, as my Lord, the Chief Justice said, I am not preparing for a political party. Then, my Lord, para 17 was the mechanism, your Lordship said, detail will be furnished in respect of electoral bonds, the details of such bonds that may be received by a political party, up to a date for issuing such bonds as for the ministry, 
that is February 19, will be submitted on or before 3rd of May 19. The seal covers will remain in the custody of the ECI. So, Manod, we had no role to play. Your lordships had put this mechanism in, in place. In your lordship's judgment, your lordships dealt with the diverse aspects, including the need to preserve some degree of anonymity, and your lordships were not marked that in para 125, where your lordships discuss the electoral trust as an alternative to this system. And in the conclusions, which Manad are at para 218, I think if, if your lordships have the compilation, be PDF page 76. Yes. Your lordships will not say we direct the disclosure of information on contribution received by political parties under the electoral bond scheme to give logical and complete effect to the ruling. On 12th April, the court issued an interim direction ordering order directing that the information of donation received from donation will be received must be submitted by political parties. The court directed political parties to submit detailed particulars of donors against each bond, the amount of each bond, and the full particulars of the credit received against each bond, namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount has been credited and the date on which such credit has been made. I'm only not saying this to explain how we understood the order. So this correlation between which political party has received money from whom comes in here because the political party says, I have received so much money from so-and-so. Then it says, during the course of hearing, Mr. Sharma said that the ECI has only collected information uh, on the contribution made in 2019 because of para 14, uh, indicates direction was limited to contributions in that year. Your Lordship should then clarify, para 13 and 14 of the interim order are extracted below. In the above perspective, according to us, the just and proper interim direction would be to require all political parties who have received donations through electoral bonds to submit to the election commission and shield cover particulars of the donors against each bond, the amount of each such bond and the full particulars of the credit received against each bond, namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount has been credited and the date of each such credit. The details will be furnished forthwith in respect of electoral bonds received by a political party till date the details of such other bonds that may be received up to the date fixed for issuing such bonds, including February 19, May 19, will be submitted on or before May 19, and the seal covers will remain, etc. Then your lordships clarify, para 14 does not limit the operation of 13. 13 contains a direction in unequivocal terms to political parties to submit particulars of contributions received through electoral bonds to the ECI. Para 14 only prescribes the timeline for the submission on the contribution when the electoral bond should be done. In view of the interim order, the ECI must have collected particulars of contributions made to political parties through electoral bonds. In view of our discussion, the following directions are issued. The issuing bank shall stop issuance of bond, which is done immediately. The SBI shall submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order by the court till date to the ECI, fully given money. Details shall include the date of purchase of each bond, the name of the purchaser, and the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchase. All these details are given. SBI shall submit details of the political parties which have received contribution through bond since the interim order till the date of the ECI. SBI must disclose each electoral bond in cash by the political parties, which shall include the date of encashment and the denomination of the bond. Now, as we therefore understood this, the political parties have come and said, we have received so much from so-and-so. Add the details which we will give will make the database complete so that we have the who purchased, when he purchased, and when they've got. If the numbers are to be given, we'll give them. There's no problem. So, according to us, the... the Salve, data... Mr. Salve, I have a few questions. First, yes. tell us in what format is the data on the purchase and redemption of electoral bonds stored by the SBI? So, Manod, uh, as I had explained the application which we filed, because at that time we were functioning under the edict of anonymity, which had not been stated. So, at that time we were directed to preserve anonymity, including we had to take measures that within the what bank. Is the format, what is the format in which you yes. maintain the data on purchase and redemption of electoral bonds? In, in what format do you store it? In two it? silos. Your Lordship noticed that in the next order. 
So the data is maintained in two silos. It in three silos. From your application, it emerges now that you do it in three silos. The first no. silo is the bond number. The bond number is only on the bond. Case, and the third is the redemption. Well, not bond number is only on the bond. And it is cannot be read except through a, under a UV light. That was only done well, not like authentication, like because it's a, it was a bearer bond. That's what uh, was sought what to be. The purpose issued. of the alpha and second question, what is the purpose of the alpha numeric? The alpha numeric is the bond number which is visible only under a, a, a UV light. Is it only a security feature or is a security it feature entirely in the audit trail? Do you also no, 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 not audit trail is separate. That's why we do the we do the entire KYC. In the KYC, we have a bond unique number. It's not the it's not the bond number. You right. have a marker right. number of a client. Third question: yes. How does the redeeming branch? Yes. How does the redeeming branch? Yes. Match the electoral bond number to determine that it is not a forged bond. So they were not. That's that's what I'm saying. When they received it. The person in cashing it gets it. He sees that it, it's a valid bond because you see the security feature. You don't. You right. don't keep a record of it. The while physical inspection. It, while redeeming it, yeah. the only way you can ensure that it is not a forged bond is to match the alpha numeric. Without There's nothing to match. It's like seeing a currency note. No? It's like seeing a currency note. You, you know that's the alpha currency. numeric. Yeah. But cashed in the last fifteen days because it's only valid for fifteen days. So therefore, they will have to also match. When was this bond? Fourth, what is the information that you see when you scan the alpha numeric? Why not you see a number? The details of the purchaser and the bank which issued the bond when you scan the uh, bond? No, no, that's what I'm saying. That correlation was not there. For the reason, it's like this Mr. A or Mr. B come and buy the bond. So they go to branch A. They do the entire KYC information is done, their bank account details, etc. etc. Everything is done. That is silo one, if one may so call it, which is not near Orchard Sir. That's been fully disclosed. That bond finds its way into the hands of some political party. We don't know who gives it, how it goes, how many hands it changes, it finds its way in the we get to we next get to see the bond when somebody comes and says Mr. Talve, Assuming that you construed our order based on the interim order, the interim order merged with the final judgment of our court. But not even in the final judgment. Say that we will interpret our final directions in the light of the interim order, which has merged with the final judgment. But not your lordships. All, all details. That's why we came to my Mr. Salve will clarify to put it beyond any. No, no problem. Or, no problem at all. We will we will say that now SBI will not only disclose the bond numbers. But it shall also file an affidavit again before our court saying that you have not suppressed any, you will not withhold any details in regard to this uh, within the purview of clause B and C of para 221. I don't think there's anything else which, uh, which remains. Uh, details, but we'll... you, know, you have to disclose all details. Let there be no, because the burden should not lie upon the court or the petitioners who say, but, but this one has not been disclosed. But now this has not been disclosed. Now we'll disclose it, Manad, whatever. We must have finality to it. Uh, yes, we'll do it, Manad. There's no problem. Just that this constant, uh, Manad, this, uh, the media constant beating down and the petitioners giving a public interview saying, we will take the state bank to task and we will show this and we will hold them up for contempt, etc., etc. But we are also public institutions working in this space. And it's all right. You know, people work, people acted on the faith of this. Your lordships granted an interim order saying keep records. It wasn't at that time, Malad, I subject to correction. I didn't find any order which says all further actions will be subject to the judgment or something. There was no such direction. Your lordships are at that balancing interim order. Now, whether completely you should lift, lift the privacy or the remove idea, the idea, the your lordship said. Mr. Salve, the idea behind the interim order was in case the rich petition is allowed. Then yes, data should come out, and that's what exactly is required. Nothing well, more as, I must say so, well, not as out of uh, whatever as my Lord, the chief judge is saying, a lot of will clarify. We'll give every bit of information, relevant, not relevant. We'll give every bit of information which we have, so that well, not, there should be no feeling that SBI is interested in somehow holding something back. I only want well, not, to share one thing. Well, not, your lordship's judgment is uh, one of the leading judgments on the subject on transparency, voters' rights, and balancing democracy, balancing the competing virtues of, uh, and trying to minimize the role of money while recognizing the role of money in elections, etc. 
it goes over a lot of surface. The one thing that uh, Rothschild judgment was not meant for, possibly, and not designed for, is to give birth once again to a now dormant PIL industry, which will go after each industrialist and say, investigate this, investigate this, investigate this, investigate that. And the idea is the voter should know, which is absolutely, and may not say, give the bond numbers, we'll give the bond numbers. The voter knowing is one thing, but this as fodder for the next 10 years to have a PILs saying investigate so and so, investigate so and so. That is, I don't think, the purpose of your Lordship's judgment. That was not what it was meant for. And your Lordship will see whatever safeguards need to be put in place. Just one more Lord, thing. I have two minutes, Lord, if your Lordship permits. Yes, At the outset, my Lord, on behalf of the state, the central government, I completely disassociate myself with what Dr. Agrawala has written. It is completely unwarranted and ill-advised. I, I want that to be made very clear, my Lord, on behalf of the central government. Now, my Lord, I have something to share. And I have been watching this very painfully, my Lord, outside the court. My Lord, your Lordships sit in kind of a silos. Your Lordships are, my Lord, in an ivory tower, not, my Lord, in a negative sense of the term. But what we know here, my Lord, your Lordships never come to know. The way in which your Lordship's judgment is playing out, my Lord, something your Lordships must my Lord, be informed as highest court of the country. But what has happened? My Lord, our case was that we want to curb the black money. Uh, a, a criminal may have paid the donation, but ultimately the donation comes in the white economy and we could not persuade your Lordships. My Lord, your Lordships passed in judgment. Lord, every one of us understood the judgment and the directions in a particular way that what your lordship wants is not my lord kind of a witch hunting earlier my lord our case was that witch hunting would be by the political parties if a party is given b party in some other state might victimize the donor now my lord the witch hunting has started my lord uh, at, at some other level my lord, not at the governmental level the application comes of the SPI before your Lordships on 11th of uh, this month, my Lord, and your Lordships also, my Lord, that's how, my Lord, we understood, clarified the position. But most serious things, my Lord, start happening thereafter. Lord, those before the court started giving press interviews, deliberately embarrassing the courts, my Lord, and there is Lord, a non-level playing field, my Lord, on this side, nobody can rebut that. Neither government can do, nor state, can bend, state bank can do, nobody else can do. Thereafter, my Lord, a series, a barrage of social media posts, my Lord, my Lord, at least intended to cause embarrassment, started during these days, two days. And thereafter, my Lord, now it's anybody's field. It's an open field. A lot of statistics, your lordships are aware, can be twisted in any manner the person wants. It's a matter of a lot of intelligence of the reader to understand. Now, my lord, based upon the twisted and other statistics, lot any kind of uh, lot of posts are being made. Made. I know, my lord, your lordships cannot control that. The question is, would your lordships, my lord, consider issuing a direction which has a necessary and inevitable fallout? which the court would not be able to control. Lord, that saying Mr. Uh, Rodgi gave this money to this, then they, they have their own conclusion. Mr. Solicitor, we are only concerned about enforcing the directions which we issued in clauses B and C of Para 221. That's... Uh, as judges, as judges, we decide according to the Constitution. Correct, my Lord. We are governed by the rule of law. We are also the subject matter of comment on the social media and the press. But surely, as an institution, our shoulders are broad enough. No, no, I'm saying, I'm not a, not for a how, second Our court has an institutional role to play in a polity which is governed by the constitution, the rule of law. That's the only job. Lord, I am, my purpose is to inform your lordships that there is something else playing out which neither your lordships intended nor the scheme intended. And, my lord, kindly bear that fact in mind. On 11th of March, my lord, we thought that we are ad item. That this information would help the voter to take a call whether to vote in favor of a particular party or not. But thereafter, this started in a very systemic. All right. 
for Todd. Yes, sir. Can I assist you? Uh, no, Mr. Rajji, we, we don't need assistance right now at the conclusion of that. I am the person who is going to... No, they have no stakes in the matter. Okay, forget my application. No, no, Mr. Rajji, we will not hear you when your application... We have to follow procedure in the court. It's a constitutional court. One will allow yes, us... To Mr. Rajji, no, something. Mr. Rajji. I, I told you the reason for it. We are now at a stage when the judge... I am not on my application. No, that has become insurgent. I am now only saying... No, Mr. Rajji, we don't need any assistance at all. We are clear. We had we had very able assistance on both sides. We don't need any third party assistance. I didn't get the proper assistance. So just one second. Grievance of those who will now be weak that who have given to A party, who have given to B party, that will be possible. So I should ask that to Mr. Rajji. One more, one more clarification. One second. That he gave to the government under uh, a scheme. Mr. Raji, there's only one simple answer. Yes. With effect from the 12th of April 2019, when we directed the collection of all details, everybody was put on notice that hereafter, the details which you furnished would be subject to the results of the petition. Therefore, in drawing the balance, we did not ask for the disclosure of details prior to the interim order of the court. Uh, and that was a very conscious and well thought out decision of the constitutional bench. Was it the intention now, of the court to know which man paid where, so that if he pays a party, he will be subject to victim by the answer is yes. Answer is yes. Answer is yes. Lord, only one line, my lord. One, 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 only one line, my lord. Uh, Mr. Bhushan uh, may, my lord, now hold his order. Pursuant to your... Yes, lord. done, my lord. Uh, substantial assistance. I don't have to formally disassociate myself with today's mentioning, my lord. <laughs> that my disassociate, disassociating from Mr. Mr. Agarwal doesn't mean that I am... Mr. Solicitor, irrespective of the, the you know, the... the, yes, the, yeah, the I, we, but maybe we, we, as we, must, we must just tell you that we respect this very responsible uh, approach which the Solicitor General has adopted of, uh, because, you know, clients apart, who you are representing apart... It is really painful, my lord, when the people so, before the court start a you, media for, campaign for to embarrass that. the judges. Thank you for it, saying it, that it's you don't very associate mellot with the mention. Well, thank you for saying that you don't associate Because with there the is no level playing field. I can't hold a press conference. No, 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 only, only grievance is that it was not a justiciable issue. Yeah, Solicitor General did not raise it. It is not a matter of pure policy. I read the entire judgment. It was entirely a policy issue. It is not justiciable at all. That's all I want to say. The people of this country feel that a decision was taken behind their back. When the parliament decides, they were present in the parliament. It is with their consent. But first, when your lordship Lord, decides, we are... Last order, the, uh, the election commission has put out the sealed covers. That, but that's very interesting that those sealed covers show that some of the smaller parties have disclosed the donors. We don't have to go into no, all that, because, Mr. Because, That's because, not our remit at all. No, no, I is, uh, we, What has happened after the judgment is not something we are concerned with at all. Not after the judgment. What I'm, saying, no. No, what I'm saying is this, that since the order of the... Very recently I was asked about my about a critique on a judgment. I need not mention no, which no. judgment. And I said that, look, it's no part of the role of a judge, least of all of a constitutional court or even a civil judge, to defend their views. Once we declare a judgment, it becomes public property. It's the property of the notion. It is the property of the nation. And, no, uh, I was only saying that your lordship's interim order of April 2019 asked the political parties to disclose the name of the donor. The information given by the political parties to the election commission, only a few of the political parties, the smaller politi regional political parties, some of them, have uh -huh. disclosed have disclosed he is not addressing your lordships, he is addressing somewhere else. See, Kindly hear him for some time. So then it comes amazing, forward in the newspaper amazing, tomorrow. The Mr. Prashant Bhushan vehemently said this. That's the purpose. Unfortunately, public interest litigation has now become publicity interest litigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is publicity interest litigation. I, it I is, my lord, there are some hidden agendas. Some there is not a doubt, my lord, and I am not, my lord, apologetic in things. I am, I am. I am astonished. And, Lord, that is that is the matter of greatest concern because judgments given, my Lord, for high constitutional principles then are used for purposes other than what they are delivered. Unfortunately, Lord, Chief, so, in your Lord, Chief, yeah. Majesty so, so uh, would not pointing, know, my Lord, what are the hidden agendas behind. This dictated a short order. I, I think, just you know, point we are out that really expanding because, upon because the remit. Because, about, because the major political this parties this have this not minutes. disclosed the donor. Just give us two minutes to Therefore, this. Therefore, all, all that I am requesting is 
that the disclosure of the details of the bonds should actually start from the beginning of the issue of the bonds, not just from the interim order, because uh, this is leading to a second, situation. One second, we got the point. You filed an application on that. In our order, they have filed an application. Mr. Ansar, just one moment. Do it in a very cool and calm atmosphere. It's a constitutional adjudication. Yes, right? We, you know, in our interim order, we said that the disclosure shall be made with effect from the date of the interim order, yes. 12th of April 2019. Yes. Right or wrong, we have taken a conscious decision that the cutoff will be the date of our interim order. And we, we also explain why we took that date. We said after that date, of course, the constitution bench has an, op ha has an option to go all the way back from the date of the bonding or from the date of the judgment, some place via media, some via media in between. We took 12th of April 2019 because it was our considered view of all of us five that once that interim order was pronounced, everybody was on notice, what we told Mr. Rodgi. Now we have maintained that if you want that to go back to 2018, that's in the nature of a review of the judgment. So the only reason why I'm saying that... Modify that date. No, the only reason, because your lordship asked the uh, political parties to give donor details to the election commission prior to that interim order. And some of, while some of the political parties have given donor details, other political parties have not given donor details. The major political parties have not given donor details. And one political party, which is in power in one of the states, says, Ki somebody came and left it under our door. Ten crores of electoral bonds was left under our door. We don't know who it was. So therefore, I am saying that because this is leading to a situation, Though your lordship asked the political parties to disclose donor details by that interim order, only some Mr. political parties. We have understood that argument, yes. but we, what we are directing once the, the numbers are given, it will sort out a lot of problems. A lot oh, of your issues will But for that period of uh, 2018 till oh, April, we are not sitting in a review. We have taken a conscious decision. We are, we are we faced with a situation. Where the this is, Mr. Bushin, this will really be a substantive, substantive modification of the judgment. We can't do it like this in a miscellaneous application. No. And in the light of the disclosure which has come to light of the political parties, that's why I'm saying. And this is not a case. If the political parties had disclosed the donor details, uh, this would not be required. Draw the line somewhere we had to hold the balance. We've held the balance ultimately. As your Lordship pleases, but I just can I can I just add one thing? Lord Sip said all the details. Lord Sip may concede them a lot. I have pointed out that six details may be necessary, my lord. One is the serial number because they say 28,030 bonds have been issued. The second would be the date. One second. When you say serial number, you mean the alphanumeric, Total right? Total number of bonds issued are 28,030. I'm not saying I'll... Just, just. When a Lord Sip said all details, not in my respectful submission, it will be... Mr. Sarve has been... Just, just, Lord Chief, just permit me a minute. Sarve has fairly stated that he will... Uh, no, Lord. All, all the details, no, why, why... Yes, yes, Lord. No, Lord, if I can just... Show, and they are all already disclosed. What Lord Chief would say, my Lord, I'm just pointing out what details can be there. First is serial number. Second is the date. The third would be alphanumerical number. Fourth column would be name of the donor. Fifth column would be the name of a political party. And sixth column would be the amount. My Lord, this will cover all the details, not in my respectful submission. My Lord, this, this, is, this is now asking us to sit down and collate one... And this is a submission made to the court. Just like Mr. Salve made a submission to the court. I'm making... Yeah, we need... Very well, I'm, I'm making a submission to the court. Mr. Salve can so, uh, asking the, us to do whatever... Look, please, second, please permit the, my Lord, the Chief Justice uh, to dictate uh, the order now, at least. Uh, secondly, my Lord, the Lordship said, Lordship has seen that IA, my Lord. I filed that IA. For a previous order, if a lot have taken a conscious decision on that aspect of the matter, my lord, lot of may say, my lord, because the order said, my lord, the voters are entitled to know for the for as a right of information. If a lot of have taken a conscious decision on that matter, my lord, it will be from 12th of April only because we said, my lord, it should be, my lord. Otherwise, logically, once the right to know, my lord, is inbuilt in the system and in right to know the voter. Sorry, I that, that, well, I'll leave it at that. And there's a specific call. direction with effect from 12th April. Then your lot of said, my lord, I've not pressed the application. So, Bhushan, there will be no end to it. I, no, what I is the IA number, Mr. Ansari? Just one second, Mr. Bhushan. IA number which you are not pressing is IA number? Diary number 125802 2024. Which is MA number, MA diary number. So that you are not pressing. Yes, ma'am. Just, Just one. Say, MA by way of information on five eight zero two thousand and twenty four, uh, Mr. Vijay Hansaria, then a senior counsel appearing on behalf of the applicant. 
state after some submissions at the bar that the miscellaneous application is not pressed. In view of Lord, whatever proceedings have gone to the court, in view of the proceedings before whatever the in view of whatever. Lord, if a lot, you can say that. Lord. Otherwise, what? in view of what? <laughs> in view, we'll say, in view of the specific directions contained in paragraph 200, in in paragraph 219, bracket B and C of the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2020. Just one fact by way of information. Well, enough of assistance by this public spirited person, the, 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 the Lordship doesn't need any, any further the, assistance. The details of the number of bonds shown by the uh, in the data he is gathering the details for a future PIL, my Lord. So that remains in. Uh, he remains no, relevant. No, no, please permit me. Why not the CVC because I heard everybody, Mr. It, I was just pointing out that there is a huge mismatch between the number of bonds purchased and the number of bonds and cash in the data submitted by the State Bank to the Election Commission. They are showing 18,871 bonds purchased, but showing 20,421 bonds redeemed. The total amount of bonds purchased is 12,155 crores. And the amount redeemed is 12,769 crores, that is 550 crores more than what were purchased. Now, the explanation for this could be because the data is from 12th April. At that time, the bond purchase was, was going on. On 12th April 2019, it was going on. It, what is possible is that some of these bonds were purchased prior to 12th April 2019, but redeemed after 12th April 2019, and that is why there is a mismatch. But I just wanted to point out there is a very large mismatch. There is no, Malad, these figures are not authentic. I have given the authentic. 18,000 versus sponsored NGOs are, Malad, fudging the figures and bringing their own. Malad, uh, your lordships are aware there is a beautiful, uh, Malad, uh, uh, <laughs> quotation by Einstein that some people use statistics like a drunken man uses lamp posts. More for support than for illumination. I'm just showing the number. I'm saying that 18,000. This is what that. happens. Okay, when it... Leave it at that. I will... Malad, those you... numbers are not right. Since Malad, because all this is going to play out, the numbers are not right. The corrected numbers were yes. not yes. given in our yes. application. Yes. Uh, 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 in Sapara B and C of Paragraph 221 of the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2024, uh, the direction to the SBI to submit details of bracket 1, the electoral bonds purchased, semicolon, and bracket T2, uh, political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds is specifically since the date of the interim order dated 12th April 2019. We'll stop. In other words, uh, all details which have been directed to be furnished in the operative directions of this court are with reference to the interim order, uh, are on the basis, uh, uh, don't say on the basis of, are with effect from the date of the interim order, namely 12th April 2019. We'll stop. The relief which has been sought in the MA for predating the, uh, dis the, the point of disclosure uh, would amount to a substantive modification of the judgment and hence cannot be dealt with in a miscellaneous application. We'll stop. The miscellaneous of the application is therefore not maintainable and is accordingly dismissed. I, mean, I want one more relief to prevent another round of contempt proceedings. Would your lordship just for a minute? Have my affidavit in compliance for What is it that you want to work? Yes. Clarification is Marat, there was, when, when we gave your lordship, that's why I can see all this uh, story has started. When we gave your lordship the original figure of 22,217 bonds, we had, by mistake, that was from 1st of April, not on 12th of April. If your lordship just sees para 4 and Marat, everything will be over because I know where this is going, where Mr. Bhushan is going. Please see para 4 of my compliance affidavit for one second. Yes. And, your, and please, I, I would invite your lordship to say your lordships accept this. We have given the figures, my lord. There is no mismatch, there is nothing of the sort. The total, if your lordship, 
See the the are not going to all that. I mean, no, 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 no. no. At the, I have to, I have to convince my lord. I have complied with the order. I'm just saying. A compliance affidavit. It's a we compliance have. affidavit of your chairman and managing director. We just stay, we have accepted that. Uh, Please say your lordships have accepted our compliance affidavit. That will put an end to all this. By the judgment of this court, dated 15 February 2024, comma. This court directed into invert comma. Directed at uh, this court directed into invert commas the disclosure of information on contributions received by political parties under the electoral bond scheme to give logical and complete effect into invert commas complete to the ruling. Full stop. Thereafter, in paragraph 219, this court issued operative directions. So these directions in subparagraph B and C are in two parts. I'll stop subparagraph B requires SBI to submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order dated 12 April 2019 into reverse till date to the ECI into reverse commas complete. Such details, the court has indicated into invert comma, shall include the date of purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchased, into invert commas complete. In the second part of the operative direction, in subpara C, comma, SBI was required to, into invert, to submit, into invert commas, the details of political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds, into invert commas complete, Till since the interim order date, since the interim order dated 12 April 2019, till date to ECI. Full stop. SBI was required to disclose details of each intervert, underline each electoral bond encashed by political parties and to include which to and to include inclusive of the date of encashment and the denomination of the electoral bond. Full stop. The above narration and the plain reading of paragraph 219 of the judgment dated 15 February 2024 indicates that the that SBI was required to submit all details, both in terms of the purchase and in terms of the receipt of contributions. Full stop. The expression in, to invert commas, including include in both subparagraphs B and C uh, clearly demonstrate that the inclusive part was regarded as illustrative and not exhaustive of the nature of the disclosure which was to be made by SBI. Let's stop. In, in other words, comma, we now, uh, it, it, there's no manner of doubt that SBI is required to make uh, a complete disclosure of all details in its possession. Full stop. This we clarify will include the this uh, we shall this we clarify would comprehend the alphanumeric alphanumeric uh, number of and the serial number, if any, of the bonds which were purchased and redeemed. Full stop. Uh, These are two redeem number one to be the uh, the application this was on your application i think you had uh, moved this no the application was by the, the hmm? oh, oh yeah we had uh, mr harish Sa H mr okay. harish and salve Leonard senior council states that uh, there is no reservation on the part of sbi in disclosing all details which are in its possession and custody full stop in order to fully effectuate the order and to obviate any controversy in the future we direct that the chairman and managing director of SBI shall file uh, an affidavit uh, on or before 5 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, date Daldo. Could we have one more day, one? Thursday. Yes, third, certainly. Uh, 5 p.m. on Thursday, uh, indicating that SBI has disclosed all details of the electoral bonds which were in its possession and custody, and that no details uh, have been withheld. Uh, from disclosure. Full stop. 
in, in, the election commission in terms, terms of the directions contained in paragraph 221. Your Lordship may indicate the date when it will be uploaded by the election, election commission. commission. Uh, election, the election commission shall upload the details forthwith on the communication by SBR. Oblate. My Lord, sir, I had directed my Lord, the senior official of the bank to remain present. My Lord, the deputy managing director and chief general manager are present here at the presence paper. They both are. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.